She's with us. Let her pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Katalo await you within. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And Ether. Speak to the chief when you're ready. This must lead to the arena. Another part of the ruins turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. Aloy, it seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Katalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of them. Strike true as the ten. There's armor in that chest. Take it. It might be useful. Good. May it keep you safe. This will be a real show of strength. Regala is on the march. Her insurrection must be defeated. It's sacred. It must not. contestants look more flamboyant than skilled. Your blade be bright. No ceremony is going to earn this right. Will the Sky Clan stand tall after this? Hikaro must think his favorite will win the honor. The final right. battle against Regala. My heart. <laughs> Mr. Coates, may your blade be bright. Thugs, of course. Chief oh, Champion, what an honor. <laughs> Mr. Kote fixed his ego before coming here. Defenders should be at the end of this trench. But we must go. And look, we are not alone in this fight. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. But from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth.
The cool root is upon us. Our struggle demands new blood, new leaders. Release the quarry. Challengers, approach. All who take down a machine shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory.
can draw that thing close! Open fire! Hopefully the Dinox will fire a few shots from that ballista.
This isn't finished! I'll be back with everything I have! And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Regala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten. The visions in the grove have changed. The words of the Ten are now clear to us. Here. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines. Scarcity of food and water. 
storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? Zoe. There's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Well, Catalo, watch All right. I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. So he's okay. If Regala wants a fight, she'll get one here. It has been too long since the last coolers. This is where we'll make our stand. Be always vigilant. Oh, they're helpful. Aloy. Their machines. You! Let me take a look at you, stranger.
If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. Definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. This? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a... A concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. Well, I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. ones painted their faces with something called makeup like the car chip. why welcome back Aloy when you're ready please merge ether with me afterwards I must discuss an important matter with you So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. All right, 
I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looks what? like she can make it come Hello, go Verbena? Well. What do you have for me? It's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. 
I'll wait here. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Oh, my fingers feel stiff in this cold. Serum with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah! Ah. The weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear, up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. I was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That Zenith the Rebels killed was looking for something called... The Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That Zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eleuthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. 
Then why were the Zenith still searching for the asset? Let's keep looking around. So, exploring another far Zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. All this stuff. I wonder what they were doing here. Well, knowing far as Enoch, probably discovering amazing things. For their own benefit. Yeah. That sounds about right. Actogenic chambers. Like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn cradle facility. What were they for? Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. This place keeps on going. Yeah. This place is huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um, well, how is Aaron taking Gaia, all of this? the Zeniths, the Focus, really? it's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the Daunt and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. A control console to access the storage units. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Oh, well, let's find out. and 36 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? before my keepers discover I'm missing and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless and they have a Lucia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to march them with. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. 
So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit, they can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. Here it comes! Yeah, I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I gotta get to Errand. Errand, I'm here. Watch out. That thing's shooting down the center. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. Shield down! It's on the move!
Aloy, she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenith won't be so invincible after all. Oh, the slugs dampening sounds. No! Oh, damn it. Well, it's better than nothing. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should... Check on the clone, too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Is your focus acting up again? That's fine. Aloy. Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I... don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of... sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so the descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical cellular treatments and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that... You are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zeniths? How did you know optimal strategy, so? 
Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything, everyone, are gonna die. Hey, calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. Pieces around. Welcome back. Aloy. I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah. I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Gaia. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. You! 
Let me take a look at you, strength. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. See my stash later. That girl was wound up tighter than a twisted spring. She didn't have to hit me. Well, she didn't like you going through the parcel. She warned you. Twice. I was just curious, is all. I 
charge and stop them from causing any more harm. This must be the ruins of Las Vegas. Poseidon shouldn't be far. said this is where I'd find Poseidon, but the ruins out here are exposed to the elements. But a lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe Poseidon is underground. If that's true, I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. Water's pouring out of that building. Poseidon's doing? I better check it out. Someone's been through here. What? What? Camping here. So close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appeared. Yeah, okay, um... Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure.
What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer Scout at a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. About the Delph. <sighs> Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage. Whatever you find below is yours. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Members, I know we will. Optimism! It's great. Right up until the point you stumble into a machine's jaws. Pessimism. Right, it's a may wind. save your hide, but should be south of here. your spirit. Once again, the shard counter found he had lost the war for... It is hot.
Well, this is where Moreland said the herd would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. This green channel fetch a price. There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. Sandstorm's blowing in. Just what I need. There's the herd. I should have the parts I need. More machines? <laughs> Synthetic membrane. Okay, that takes care of the machine parts. Just gotta grab the compressed air capsule from Moreland's diving bubble.
It's some kind of drone. Is it watching over this area? Might have some useful data. But how to get up there? get a oh, guest list of 50. <laughs> so we need some, uh, at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no, for him, scrappers up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. <sighs> we were going to move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along uh, and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. Uh, I've heard that before. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows, back when it was, it was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. Bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me, to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good, but sometime. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. Parched desert air made the old wordsmith long for the draft of mainspring. For once, I agree with you. air capsule. I should have all the parts to build this thing now. Better get back to Moreland. I wonder what it's like down there, huh? A city encased in water. Wow. Encased. <laughs> More like entombed. Never once the... What can I do for you, partner? How deep is it? Only if you have get Leave it to the op- Talking liquid- After not- Hens. I've got everything I need- The incredible- I think- Die- I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours.
There's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? There's a very special salvage I want down there. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. But suddenly, the dancing lights around us changed. Lights? What do you mean? Images in the air, sparked by the embers, the salvage I'm after. Tiny hologram projectors? At first, there were lots of images. Women and, and coins and foodstuffs. And then, suddenly, they turned nautical. Waves. Fish. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. This is far so good. I can actually breathe down here. seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. down here somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. One node down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. the map, the second node should be on the other side of the dome. to the second node.
I won't budge. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Taking care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. Stations should be at the south end of the dome. There's red light in that tower. Just look at the console I found earlier. That might be the main end station. Looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. I did it! <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Excited. I guess the coach didn't get rid of all of the water. Machines behind. 
Is this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our Delph. Okay then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage.
You guys all right? More than all right. This... You... We did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, um, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revelin'. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Sliding should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Yes. Mother. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. That's her operator activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Bring us back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered it restarted the city's power system. World and crew must have headed back up top. That's all the windows they could carry.
An elevator. No one must have built this before the place flooded. Needs to work. Be nice not to have to climb back up. She did. She must have powered up the whole city. Is that? <laughs> oh. oh, the show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized. His old Gramps' legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the Embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and Crew's gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to pay a visit to that other Ostrom camp I found first. And with my new diving mask, I should be able to swim as deep as I want to. Once I find a place with more water. to help others, to help the planet. <laughs> Technology really can be an amazing thing. Yeah, I still get the mind of its own and... Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. Stairs. Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. I 
don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac! Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda, you saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. <laughs>